likes jazzware? <laughs> This guy. Yeah. This guy. <laughs> Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a very special video, something I've been building up towards for a long time. We're joined by Strandy42 on Instagram today, so good to have you Thanks back on the channel. Again. You've been uh, quite a staple recently. Thank you. So it's happy to fun. have you back again. As you guys may know, I, I like this this video game called Master Chief. Up Features like. an elite called Halo. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Halo is uh, definitely our favorite franchise of all time. He has lots and of bullets in his There guns. have been many minifigures produced by many different companies mm -hmm. over over the years. They started with Joyride, went to a massive legacy of McFarlane. There's been tons of companies taking on the reins of the Halo license over the years. Now we fall to Jazzware. You know here at the channel we love mega constructs, but mm -hmm. we love to diversify as well, and Jazzware is a pretty outstanding company up until this point. These figures are being made at a really good quality mm -hmm. during a very difficult time, especially with shipping lanes between yeah. China, and I, I learned recently when there's quality control issues with a company, some Sometimes uh, the company in America will send a representative to China to inspect the factory. That can't be done right now. No. So like there's very, it's very difficult to monitor quality control over, you know, Zoom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now I give Jazzware the absolute benefit of the doubt. I think you guys have been crushing it and I've been saying that all along. And today we're going to show you how much of a fan we are of the product. Right now I only have a few Jazzware products in this house. I've got the Tavares and Hyperius versus Master Chief, which I must say me and Kellen stormed through heroic on this mission <laughs> last night. It was incredible. This is a really good set. This is the only one that I've showed off me buying really while I've been in America because I had a lot in Hong Kong and I've been slowly amassing an army. Ooh. An army, Strandy. Let Aww. me show you. Let me show you. I got it. He's got it. He's gonna do it one hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's actually doing <laughs> it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. You got it. You got it. Keep going. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Four, five, six, <laughs> seven. <laughs> this is another paid sponsorship, Ooh. baby. We got a sponsorship on the channel. Let's no, I, go. I say paid, they don't pay me anything, they just send me cool stuff. So, I mean, I'll Same still difference. take that. And I was contacted by an awesome toy supplier Ooh. of Asian products. Ooh. So, they let me choose something from the website. But before that, we're gonna look at a load of Jazzware. So, stay tuned. Stay tuned, stay tuned Strandy, don't go anywhere. Uh, so, these three, you can check out the review on my channel of those. I got them, like, probably the first, I think it was actually the second day I was ever in America. So we're gonna have a look at this to begin with. Ooh. Bring the camera up, baby. That's a massive one. This is the Warthog with Arbiter and Master Chief. This is the Warthog run. Ended up being kind of rare, right? It's very rare. Yeah. Nice. Um, it's a GameStop exclusive. Ah, that, that would do it. <laughs> and it was only sold on pre-orders on GameStop.com. But this was actually purchased for my friend Jonathan. I'm going to do a full unboxing and review of each of these products separately. I'm just showing you the massive haul today. And you'll love the back of this packaging. Oh. Good old Halo 3. 20 years of Halo. Halo 3. Mega Constructs did a Warthog Run set as well, right? Yeah. Interestingly, they included Hunters in the set, even oh, though there's but... no Hunters in that mission. Also, taking out Hunters on Heroic in Halo Infinite is oh, insane. Dude. And I think this Arbiter actually looks way better than the original promotional material on this one. Really happy with that. You can see some nice weathering on Master Chief there. I'm gonna be really hyped to unbox this. I'm wondering if it, there's any difference between the Halo Infinite and Halo 3 Warthog. I'd imagine not. Nah, I don't think so. But that's the Master Chief and Arbiter. Ah, Next box. These boxes are all totally random. Ooh. Ooh. It's Jager Adamni. This is a pretty cool figure, to say the least. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the blue of the Spartan. It's that's, a really nice Spartan, right? Yeah, that's just a solid Spartan all And the way God, around. it puts Jager in perspective. The actual scale is Because, like, awesome. here's the thing. When I play Halo Infinite, like, it's hard right. for me to believe that they all just got wailed on by the Banished. But at the same time, when you see the size of Jager and the fact that he's completely AC, you can imagine he just got, he just snuck up on each one of them. Exactly. I listened to the audio log yesterday where, like, basically, there was a final Spartan deployment aimed to take out Escherum. Jager took them all out one by one, pretty much. Where his robot arm, mm -hmm. the the model and the this painting there mm -hmm. is so cool. Like it's it's touched Very up. Very high quality. Mm -hmm. And you imagine uh, he lost his arm in an epic way. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I think so. And you you got to say with Jazzware, so many new molds every time, mm -hmm. and every time they're pumping out new weapons. The back of the packaging's a bit weird on these ones, just Chief running, but like uh, wow. it's whatever. I would have at least put some like other things available on the line here. It's surprising uh, to me that they that didn't. Been good. Well, actually, at the same time, for a collector, they'd probably rather this than like loads of other images. But, Especially like, when you have a ton of them and you're having them all mm, next to each other. Mm. I would like Jazzware now to release some 
some massive ace plate, like a Ooh. battle scape. Noble Six has taken out Jay God Noble Six is in a cave He's somewhere. In a cave. He's in a cave somewhere. Whoa! Oh, no. stuff is Ooh, boom. Another box. Big boy box. Big box. <laughs> pull, pull it. Pull. Abracadabra. Couple of Whoa. <laughs> It's the Gun Goose Gambit. This is the Gun Goose, and again, uh, there's a lot of parallels when you start looking at like releases from Jazzware and releases from Mega Constructs mm -hmm. at the same time. Also, I do like how uh, the Defense Point Showdown with Mega Constructs was actually an in-game moment, kind of. Gun Goose with Spartan Cellox. Why is it a Cellox? I don't know. And it's good thing is, scout, we can it? open this one because I already opened it. <laughs> yeah, it literally, so we, is just we can a check this one out. Halo 4 Scout. Yeah, it's a Halo 4 Scout, but it's got Halo Infinite. Just uh, Armor patches. So, yeah. It's got a sweet knife on the side. Mm -hmm. That is fascinating. This gun goose, though, is gorgeous. Man. Oh, yeah. Tell me that this isn't as good as McFarlane. It's as good as uh, any McFarlane mongoose we ever got. Granted, those McFarlane mongooses came out years ago. All right. But still, it's really good. It's a really high quality for me. I particularly enjoy this one. <sighs> Where was the stuff when I was little? I have a few of the McFarlane vehicles. Did you know there's actually a cancelled McFarlane Falcon? I know, that never would, came that out. That would have been pretty cool. Never came out. The gun goose with Spartan Cellox. Don't know why you called it Cellox, but I, I guess it was one of those just random armor groups that they were gonna sell in the store. One, one, two, three. Beautiful. Right. This elite is pretty cool. Beautiful. I mean, that elite is really nice, yeah. right? These were bagged by Mega Chief Constructs Creator. Please do go give him a follow. Great guy, absolutely outstanding guy. And he bagged me these three Jazzware figures. The elite mercenary is coming straight back to England with me. It's a combat evolved elite. Jazzware, in my opinion, nailed Terran wear battle damage. Oh, for real. Nailed mm -hmm. it. It's not too insane. Like, it's not too over the top. It's just it a really nice sense. light silver to it. Especially, yeah. I mean, when you think about it, they're no longer part of the covenant. They're no longer have the supplies that they used to. It's mm -hmm. the, like the banish. Yeah, they have the supplies yeah. and stuff. It's realistic. That's why I love the banish man because anytime you go into a banished fortress, it's very reasonable that they would just have UNSC weapons on the wall mm -hmm. because they're just scavengers. I, I love it. Yeah, I you love run it. across brutes with shotguns. And the more I get to know the banished, I love the banished red. I think more than covenant purple at this point. I would actually like to know how many elites, once the great schism had occurred, were out of work and just got hired by the banished. The banished man had done a big recruitment drive after the great schism. Awesome. Hyperius times two. <laughs> this Hyperius is going to my friend Jonathan in England. This one I'm going to keep. And then the Jackal Raider. I think I might keep this cool. one to myself. It is pretty just cool. Just for fun. Yeah, I got a nice purple energy shield. Actually, the detail on the front of this energy shield is nice. I'm used to just seeing single studs with mega <laughs> right? constructs. And then that plasma pistol is also really good. I've also come to respect the fact that the uh, plasma pistol in Infinite doesn't pop shields. Really frightening in there. Good lord. I'm going to open these on a separate video. Yeah. Again, Tubby Hyperius. You, you only go to the gym. This we is... would like to have our sponsor, Raid Shadow. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shadow Legends. <laughs> this product is from a company called Kika Goods. I just like being sent things that I think are really dope. And anytime I ever do a sponsorship, it will only be with products I think are like genuinely cool. Ho -ho. Amor. Ooh. Amaru Hero. <laughs> These are blind bags. <laughs> I, well, like blind, blind boxes. Blind, blind boxes. They are this is massive. Blind boxes, my dude. Oh wait, never yeah. more blind. It's yep. not just I thought it was No, no, no. We have six blind boxes. Yo. Yeah, exactly. I thought you'd like this. six of these boxes and each one has a samurai bear. You can keep one, Strandy, but you've got to pick carefully. Oh, I got to pick carefully. You got to pick All carefully. Right. Which one uh, are you going to pick? We're going up in the far far left. Can I get a you? Oh, you. Oh, yes, ha. look at that. Hey, look dude. at that. Yo. <laughs> that's actually high. Like, that's highly detailed. <laughs> dude, these are so you've cool. Got, you've got the happy bear, man. Yo. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys, you can go to Kika Goods and use the code DOMAIN for 10% off at the <laughs> checkout. We've got four different bears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look at these, dude. <laughs> Awesome. They're so sick. I've lived in Asia for five years. I've seen him on every street. So it's pretty dope to get like this bear now. These are legitimately epic. <laughs> These are so legitimately cool. epic. <laughs> they're just lying in a. They're lying in a field. I'm gonna choose this one. Are you gonna choose the surprise bear? I think this blue one might be my favorite. Does he have wings on the back? Yeah. He does, what? He does. Oh, he does have wings. And they're based in Hong Kong, so that's a big. Oh, one. yeah. We love cool. that. We love we Hong support. Kong. We love Hong Kong. Boom. Oh, another one. Whoa. Oh no! I caught it. It's Basos. Basos. God, he's scared Spartan the not so tough, I think. Yeah. But also, where was Bassos hiding? Let's be honest. Bassos, the brute chieftain versus Master Chief. The Master Chief comes with the Hydra launcher, which in hindsight would have been so much better to take out Bassos. I think I went in there with like a plasma r rifle and nice. like just just 
Got yeah, whale really like, Gravity hammer's dope. Uh, great base plates. I think it's again, yeah, just the chief running on the back. It is uh, pretty much the mirror of this set, which came out like maybe six months, maybe a full year later. This was in the original expected launch of Halo Infinite. Okay. So this was in like 2020. Any Jager Adomni material was like delayed for spoilers, right? Uh, I know I've actually been a bit behind on my Jazzware news recently. I need to make a video on the new waves of Spartan collection, but I've been so busy. Jerome, and this is the only Spartan collection figure. Well, it's this one on Yoroi that I definitely needed. I know people say that McFarlane's a little higher quality in terms of paint apps. I don't really buy it. Jazzware has just got started and they're pumping out all these new molds. Like they have to save money in some areas. But this Jerome, uh, I think is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. I think the packaging is so beautiful. If you wanted uh, a Star Wars Black series, right. you'd be paying outrageous prices. So I think this is pretty. Neat. And then in this box, Oh, you'll like this one. Bum, bum, bum. So this is why you want to start getting all noble team, yeah. but just haven't yeah, yet. Yeah, because I already got two. And this one is the rare one. Yeah, this is uh, this was cool uh, because at GameStop, they actually listed this on the website only two weeks ago for $25. Not so bad. I picked that up straight away. 25 is like, I think very decent for this. I can see already the silver etching on that visor is yeah. gorgeous. Even the bullet casings on his arm uh, look really tight. I think I'm gonna be really impressed with this. What do you think about that, June? June is pretty good. Um, I really do appreciate it that comes with the uh, helmet and unhelmeted version of it. Mm -hmm. So I think one of the reasons that they decided to do the head is mm -hmm. because because this one, June, he has the face tattoo, and that's just another right. thing to add. And whenever you can add more diversity to the set, like a new helmet and mm. the headpiece, dude, that's just great. It that's is awesome. just great. Yeah, McFarlane did the uh, route of selling the helmeted noble team, and about two years later, each of the unhelmeted noble team again. Nice. So that's, that's a bit, it's, <laughs> it's not, not as good. Cheeky. Not as good. Um, so definitely uh, rather have that. Two members of noble team. And Strandy. Yes. Think of our haul for today. I think it's rather impressive. Ooh, buddy. There's some fun stuff in here. So oh. me oh, oh, no. oh no! Good job, Jazzware. And the pretty much the coolest thing for today. The coolest thing. Hi the bears. <laughs> Ha. Our little bear army. <laughs> and massive shout out to Kika Goods. Thank you very much for sponsoring this video. We would love to work with you in the future. Your products are legitimately so hype. So cool. <laughs> like they are some really cool bears. <laughs> Thank you all very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. Thank you Strandy42 for checking for out the channel me. once again. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there folks. And the bears are signing off. Hi-yo!